Hello. I have packages, okay? I have packages. Special delivery. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I may or may not have purchased some traveler's notebooks, like traveler brand traveler's notebooks. And actually, like I've never done that before. I've had a bunch of like Foxy Fix, Naya Papery, Print Pression, TNs as someone like in the planner community, but I have things. So let's go to the overhead. Let's go take a gander at the overhead shot and see what I got. So like I said, uh, we got traveler's notebooks. We got some stuff. What started this is that I have been taking pottery since February, I think. So I've been in a ceramics class since February and I'm like finally kind of getting to the point where everything I'm making isn't garbage. As charming as these pieces are, I would not describe them as technically good in any way whatsoever. This was literally like the first thing I ever carved and like obviously, you know, it's a learning process in pottery. Like, is this cute and weird? Yes. <laughs> is it good? Not really. I've been getting a little bit better um, and it's, you know, it's really stressed to have some sort of pottery notebook with you so that you can write down like the glazes that you're using and like the different techniques and everything and things that you've done differently just so that you can kind of like strengthen your practice. So uh, being me, I went completely overboard. So I had actually been looking at a standard size traveler's notebook for a while. Um, I was looking at the camel color. They're really hard to find if you don't know, like if you're not aware. <laughs> For some reason, like that color is the one that's just sold out constantly. So I already had it in my mind that I wanted a notebook for pottery and being who I am, I just can't like buy a notebook and bring that in. Like that's just not me. I've accepted this at this point in my life that I'm extra as hell. So that kind of set everything in motion to just be extra and finally get the standard size as well as the passport. I'm doing passport for pottery because I really don't need that much space and I feel like it's easy to contain like one project to a page. Basically any excuse to be buying more stuff than I need to be. Although in my defense, I've been really good. I haven't been buying stuff really this year at all. I've really been focusing on using up what I have. So new things for Kate. Okay, first of all, I need to give you some tea. I live in a really weird studio apartment, right? I live, I have no walls. I have no walls in this apartment, but also it used to be connected to the, what is now currently the maintenance closet and the maintenance closet. They are just having a time in there right now. They are chit-chatting it up. So if you hear a bunch of dudes talking in the background, it's because the only thing between me and the maintenance closet is like one piece of plywood that has been plastered and painted. Like I, I'm honest to God, like there is an arch in my bedroom that it used to connect the two. <laughs> this is the alluring charm of living in an old mill. So sorry in advance, but anyway, this is my bountiful harvest. This is, I ordered from two different places. So first up, I got the little package here from the paper mouse. I'm actually really glad I found this shop because they're semi-local to me. So they're based in West Newton, Mass. I live in Connecticut right now, but I'm from Mass, but like not that part. I'm from Western Mass, okay? I'm from Springfield. I don't know if you can tell. I don't, this will mean anything to like one person, <laughs> but still. So it's semi-local. The next time I'm out East, I'm probably going to try to stop in because I followed their Instagram and their shop looks super cool. They have like events all of the time. I was actually coming back from Maine last weekend and I really considered stopping because they were having an event that was like, you know, when you kind of want like a notebook or a pen, but you're like, I really wish I could just touch it first. That's exactly what they were doing. So that seems really cool to me. I ended up not stopping because I really didn't want to get stuck in Taylor Swift traffic because that was apparently like a gigantic nightmare. So I'm going to have to go back at some point. It's, they're really not that far from me. So that's super cool that I bought like local. And then the other package, everything else is from Tokyo Pen Shop. So let's dive in. So this was the Passport TN that I got. I got it in the olive color. I'm really hoping that it kind of translates on camera because my lighting is horrific today. But if not, I'll pop some photos in the bottom here. Um, it is just like the basic traveler's notebook starter set. So it literally came with the notebook and it came with a little plain insert that I'm probably not gonna use because I don't love plain paper. It's not my favorite. Cute nonetheless. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. I did think I showed this in my last video, so you may have already seen this one, but that's what I got from that shop. And then I kind of just got like everything else you could possibly need from Tokyo Pen Shop because they just had everything in stock and it was easier to grab all at once. So they did come with a freebie 
We love a high chew. We'll never complain about getting a free high chew. So I got some accessories for the passport. I just got two grid notebooks because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna use to keep track of pottery stuff. And then I got one of these little craft folders because I figure if I have any like little scribbled notes or anything that I want to jot down, I can just do that and throw those in here. So I'm literally just gonna, actually, let me put this in now. I don't know if I have any appropriately sized jump bands. This one's probably a little bit big, but I'm too lazy, so. Or no, I could, I guess I should. <sighs> Fine. I will make one myself. I don't know why there's a notch in this folder. I hope it's not for anything. Clearly, I am not well read on Traveler's Notebooks, but um, I'm just gonna jump band these two together and call it a day, I think. I fear that this is not going well for me. Please be the right size. That should be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's literally just for pottery, Kate. It's literally just for pottery. That is too big. I'm living with my choices. This is, this is too big. Okay. Let me adjust. This is like that one simple plan song that's like, why does this happen to me? <laughs> I'm being so dramatic. Okay. I obviously didn't go to Rich Kid Summer Camp because I know nothing about tying knots, which is what I assume people at Rich Kid Summer Camps do because they go on boats or whatever. This is a shit show. This is truly... I could just Google it, but no, I'm not going to. You know what? Let's do this. Good enough for me. Okay, I am going to. Okay. We're just gonna... Just gonna keep that from fraying. Featuring my lovely pickle lighter that my friend gave me. Look at it. It's perfect. Um... So I made a jump band against all odds. This was something that should have taken me 14 seconds and here we are. Bum -ba -da -dum. Now that is an appropriate size. I am just gonna slip this puppy over here and call it a day. Oh shit, it's upside down. Now that I have fought for my life to put together one singular jump band because I don't know how to tie knots, that's that. Mission accomplished. I think that this should probably I have put the knot at the bottom so as to appease my sensibilities. This was literally supposed to be just such an easy video. I was like, oh, I can film this in like 10 minutes. Um, no, I, Kate proceeds to fight for her life trying to make a um, jump band for 15 minutes. So that's literally the pottery notebook. It is a grid insert that I'm just going to write things in and it's a folder for me to put stuff in if I'm in pottery and I want to. And then like I said in the last video, I have this Canon selfie square. So I'm gonna like take pictures of my finished pieces and maybe my unglazed pieces. They actually, they let you do like a collage in the app. You can upload any picture from your phone. So you could also just make a collage outside of the app. But I think that'll be really useful because I'm a really visual person. So I'm gonna like print it out, slap it in here, write down the glazes that I used, write down like how long I, whatever, you know, pottery stuff. So that is, um. That's that. I'm literally minding my business filming and my bosses are hashing it out in a, in a share to chat with me right now. So anyway, <laughs> now we have the uh, Traveler's Notebook and I haven't seen this yet, so I'm excited. So let's open it up. And it comes with the same stuff as the passport did. So it literally just like the carrying case, the notebook, and then I think it comes with an extra string. Um, that I probably should have used instead of making a whole new jump band, but naturally I have already lost it. I do, I really like the packaging. Oh, maybe this is the jump band. I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, this is totally meant to be. I'm stupid. It's nice though. This is, this is like innovative as a, as a packaging nerd, like as a person with an industrial engineering degree who took an entire class on designing packaging like that. It's a nice touch. Oh no, I'm not an idiot. This is the jump band. Free extra jump band. Be resourceful. So anyway, 
let's take a gander. Let's take it. Oh my God. It feels so nice. This is exactly like what I was. Oh God. Yep. Yep. That does it for me that I just, I know that it's going to like patina and it's going to get really like oily, but like, I really like the, um, the feel of it right now. And then the inside leather. So it's the same deal. It comes with a blank insert, which is never my favorite thing, but whatever. And then I bought a few things. So I bought a watercolor insert. Um, it's got really thick watercolor paper. Ooh, and it's perforated too, so you can rip it out. Which I thought that would be really cool because this is going to be like a, um, like an art journal, like travel with me, art little collages. I have like, let me show you. So I want to do like a little travel journal, art journal, junk journal kind of thing. Like I printed out a photo from the concert that I was at last week. And then I have my wristband from the venue. It was at the Aura in Portland, Maine. I just thought it would be really cool to keep it all in one place and then actually be able to keep the books because I find it really overwhelming. I'm a person that like throws away my planners. I don't have any shame about it. Like once it's done, it has fulfilled its purpose for me and it's out of my life, but I would like to keep like a little like mementos of like the important things. I really love concerts. I don't know if you can tell, but um, concerts, little trips, all of those kind of things, just a basic, ba this is like the classic definition of a travel journal, like a traveler's notebook, like why it's called a traveler's notebook, you know? So I figure I'm just gonna like have my little glue runner, put my little bits, bits and bobs in there. And then I can keep this because this is a lot more manageable for me to keep than like an entire ass planner that has like a mix of things that I care about and things that I don't care about, you know? So I'm going to carry that with me. I'm going to keep the watercolor notebook with me because ideally I would like to be able to like sketch places and then like watercolor it in. It's just something I'm, who isn't trying to watercolor these days? So that's the plan for this. This leather is lovely. I know that it's going to patina, but like it's, it's lovely the way it is right now. And that's everything. So clearly went all in on the traveler's notebook stuff. I don't have any regrets. These are super cute. And it's really funny to me that it's taken me this long to buy an actual traveler's branded traveler's notebook, because obviously I've been in the planner community since the dawn of time at this point. And I've used every type of planner, just not the, not the OGs. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to see. If you want me to like, I'll probably film a little reel of me doing the spread from this Front Bottoms concert I just went to. And then there's going to be, I'm going to a music festival this weekend. So I'm sure that's going to be an ordeal. I am going to vomit when I see Haley Williams and Foo Fighters. Oh my God. My childhood dreams. So that's happening. Let me know if there's any accounts that you follow and love that use either of these size travelers notebooks, because I would definitely like to see. I feel like I've said this before, but you know, the algorithm shows you what it wants you to see and I don't see a lot of this kind of content. So definitely open for suggestions. As always, subscribe if you've made it this far or don't. Your call. And I can almost promise you that I'll be back next week with another video because this is like my fourth or fifth, maybe sixth video in a row. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Um, yeah, that's that's it. I'm, my maintenance closet is still having a little party in there and I have to go back to work because my bosses have been arguing with each other the entire time that I've been filming this. So later. <laughs>